Hello, Kokomi here, and welcome back to another episode of Legend of Zelda Wind Waker. Last time we entered Dragon Roost Cavern, and today we're back at the entrance. Also, remember when I said I was going to go heal at the end of last episode? <laughs> yeah, I decided that for this LP, I'm not going to heal off screen. If I happen to have a potion or fairies on me, I'm not going to go out of my way to heal either. So I think that'll just make it more interesting. Since I really do think hero mode gets kind of boring later with the fact that you, it's just easy. To, even if you take damage, it's not even that important. But yes, I also wanted to show really quick how these warp pots work. Because the way you go through them is that you'll pop through them in order. So... You go in the first one, you'll pop out of the second one. You go into the second one, you'll pop out of the third one. You go into the third one, you'll pop out of the fourth one if it exists. If not, back to the first. I didn't look up the name of these enemies off screen, but hopefully you should see something on screen right now of their names because the me and editing is very thoughtful like that. But yes, and for some reason we have to have like a transition out here. I guess they loaded this as a separate area, but we can see we've about reached the peak of the of a dragon roost. We can see our dragon spirit having a... Wow, Link, you bashed your head on, like, the second step. Good job. We're, well, we're gonna keep rolling. But you can see the stairs are collapsing behind us. And, yeah, we have kind of no way back. Also, I'm playing with the gamepad again. Excuse me. Why isn't the gyro on? Oh, for some reason it was off. Okay, there we go. I got my gyro controls back. Oh, thank God. Uh, I believe... I actually want to take a picture of one of these guys. So, how about... Stay there. Good. And... There's a sad medley. Nope, not good. Okay. And with this... Oh god, I love this song so much. This is the mini boss theme. I'll let you guys just listen to it. And with that, we have a new enemy. Well, not so new. Wow, I missed. Uh, these are Moblins. They're tough. Especially when you can't heal. They're a bit smarter when it comes to fighting. They use, they will block, they will try and push you, they will use their range to your advantage. Uh... But what you can do, something to be very careful about, is yes. Yeah, and you can see they, uh, I love how they, uh, I love how they, like, kind of, kind of go into box mode. However, if you actually knock them over, they will attack upon getting up. That has caught me off guard before. Just saying, be wary of that. And yes, when I was talking about last episode of uh, uh, getting a weapon that can do the spin attack with longer reach, this is what I was referring to. The Moblin Spear is easily what I I think is the most fun weapon to use in this game. It's just, it, it is so just, it, it's great. And with that, we get a Skull Necklace. This is a new uh, collectible that we can get from Moblins. I'm surprised he didn't take any damage from the guy. I was actually expecting to take damage. I think a like single punch from him will do one heart in hero mode. So it's a good thing I didn't get hit at all. But with that, I actually do want to take a picture of Medley really quick. There we go. And let's talk to him. Link, you came to rescue me. Oh, thank you. I have to tell you what I found out. This is terrible. Some creature is doing awful things to the Great Valu's tail. That's why he's so angry. The Great Valu's tail hangs down into the room right below here. 
He, there's gotta be something in there. I wonder if those mean monsters who captured me have something to do with it. You gotta do something now before it's too late. I'll go t and tell everyone what's happening. Link, here, Link, use this to get out of here. And yes, it, this is this is leaving a little bit of lore by, while giving us an item. We sort of had foreshadowing this, but we have the grappling hook with it. Uh, we can now essentially go Indiana Jones style and swing from uh, from poles to ledges and stuff. It's re it's a really neat weapon. I like to always have it equipped on the X button. That's just how I operate. I don't know why. It just feels right to have it equipped on the X button. But with that, we can use the grappling hook to, well, grapple. See, like that. And, except I missed her. There we go. That was actually, that actually looked kind of inappropriate because it is, is a hand. You can sort of see just like right there, uh, right where Link's hand is, right below that. The, the grappling hook is a hand. Uh, let's see. But I love the idea of this uh, item. It's it's so fun, and I guess you could argue the whip sort of did it better in later Zelda games, but I have a soft spot for the grappling hook. So this is where we first came in. If you want to head back to where the way we came before, you can go that way. And I could go ahead back and heal, especially now that I have the grappling hook. I can reach some places we couldn't reach before, but on, why don't we head this way? I remember little kid me did not put together that that door actually led back to where we were, so I thought we were stuck being forced to go this way. Ah, uh, little kid me has some great memories. Or, memories. I mean, yes, great memories, but like, great imagination? Thoughts? I wouldn't describe that as memories. But the, the next best thing about the grappling hook is that you can steal stuff from enemies. You need a feather from a bird and afraid it'll plummet off the cliff to its untimely demise? Or do something like that. You can use the grappling hook to steal their item from them. If I remember correctly. Yep. Hey, it's like I played this game before. But what you want to do here is... There's no way, well, to go but... Down. We can burn the bridge. Burn the bridge. Honestly, you don't even need that if you don't want to use it. I'm just going to go ahead and break these pots. You can use it. If you uh, don't want to go into first person mode, if you uh, Z target or ZL target in this case, uh, you can sort of do like this. this is, honestly, I love the grappling hook. It's such a cool item. Uh, but yes, you can break jars with it. But what I like to do is... I normally would do like as quick as spin attack, but I can't tell you how many times I've tried to like do the quick circle and then I ended up falling off. And everything's fine, right? Nope. Yeah, the bridge will stay up for a second and then once you move it'll fall off. And this chest, so technically you didn't have to defeat those enemies, uh, but they would be in your way and we get a joy pendant. Uh, and the way back up you can use these water jugs and set it on where the lava geyser is, wherever it is. A lot, yeah, there's a lava geyser over there. You can use the water jug to create a platform on the lava geyser and that's your way back up. But for right now, we don't care for that. This is another part where I've tried to do the quick spin attack in the past, and then that happens. Uh, if I mess that up, that's actually, again, that's game over for me, so I will take it seriously. Uh, it looks like we're going to go with no hit mode for the rest of this. Thankfully, they do respawn all of them. You want to hit all of them at the same time, so if you just hit, if you just break one or two, it will just slant like that. And with that, it'll fall down here, and that will be sort of our way up and down. And we have these chain platforms. I don't quite get why it's like this. And what the heck died? I heard- was that the geese again? I don't think I mentioned their name last episode, but I do happen to know the name of the bats. They're, they are called geese. Oh, this part. Uh, if I remember correctly, we want to see if we can get this guy over here. You can get these- nab these guys with the rope, but you have to be very precise. Uh, honestly, it's not worth it. What we want to do is we want to grab this. 
Yes, as soon as you bring that down, you heard? Oh my god, we have keys to deal with. Uh... Alright, where are they? I know there's more. No? I thought there was more than that. Okay. Maybe I'm misremembering. But yeah, we can see this is sort of just teaching us how we can use it. Here, you can see that if we were to jump there, we wouldn't be able to go anywhere. So what you want to do is just like the Nico's minigame, you want to stop and just sort of move around. So essentially, Nico's uh, sort of trial was teaching you a useful skill you would use later in the game that you're going to use throughout the game, being able to swing. And later dungeons won't be as like swing heavy or swing centric as uh, this one, but... It, it's still you're still gonna have to pull it out every now and then it is really nice I like it I I, I feel like I can't I can't say enough of how much I like this weapon oh boy this one so we got these Slava centipede things that I still don't know the name of oh god I'm like so afraid right now okay there we go when you do that that'll instantly kill it but we don't want that Instead, what we want to do is... Oh, is there... I thought there were two. Okay, never mind. There's only one. This thing will be infinitely spotting. You can kill it as many times as you want. Another one will come and take its place. What you want to do is wait and then jab it. And you can see it curled into a bowl. While it is curled into a bowl, you want to come over here. And you want to drop it onto the switch. You don't have to be standing directly on the switch. And that'll get rid of the flyer. The moment that switch... If you tried to step on it, it would get rid of the fire, but the moment you walked off it, the fire would go away. So, the puzzle here was to put the thing into his little ball form on the switch to get rid of the fire. I think the fire will stay gone permanently once you get the... Oh yes, but here we have a brand new enemy! Fire keys! They're keys, but on fire. They're actually pretty annoying. I know I'm going to die to a keys in this LP. In fact, I'm probably going to die to one pretty soon because, in case you didn't notice, yeah, they're going to give us uh, some nuisances to deal with on our way back. Oh, oh my god, wow, that was close. Okay, uh, that has really put me on edge, jeez. Uh, you don't have to stop if you don't want to. Uh... Oh! I forgot. Okay, yes, you're too low when you start swinging and that... It wasn't the keys that killed me. <sighs> well, I said I wouldn't go heal off screen. I meant it. Technically, this works out in our favor? As... Funny enough, we needed to head back anyways? Funny thing there, we actually, the whole point was to head back, so technically we just pulled a death warp. We are speedrunners, actually. That death was totally intended. Totally, definitely not intentional, not on accident. But regardless, I want to show the rest of the way back, because I'm sure not all of you are going to do that the way I did it. So, I will meet you, we'll fast forward, I just realized I can just warp over there with the jar. Wow, what was I thinking? Uh, so fast forward powers, do your thing. That feels really good to do that. I love being able to do that. So, yes, I do want to show, just for sake of showing because I know not all of you are going to do my excellent speedrunner strats and yes I might have fallen into the lava. Wow I am getting hurt a lot. I got hit by a keys earlier on the way here and then I fell into the lava on accident. Jeez. I'm going to get a game over off screen at this rate. But yes, what you need to do here is you need to stop, turn around, and climb up. I don't believe you can climb up until uh, you're completely stopped. So you'll have to keep that in mind. And you will know if you're high enough if you don't like rebound off the ledge when you swing by. Because uh, you could sort of tell last time I did that, I, I sort of just bounced off the ledge. And yes, there are more fire keys waiting for us. They just love littering this place with fire keys. Oh, come on! Oh my god, I hit that guy from a distance with the... Jeez, okay, do not jump off here. Be very careful. Just 
climb and let go, because if you jump off, you will probably land in the lava. Uh, in fact, funny thing is that when I was coming back this way, I jumped down to... The platform was down here, and so I jumped down to hit it. The thing is, Link constantly moves forward when he jumps off a ledge. Uh, unless you, like, choose to just drop off. But... Uh, because I did that... Uh, and there were also fire keys in here earlier, but I killed them. I just saw that sword fall. Did the... What? Did the guy just, like, fall off the side or something? That's weird. Uh, don't try and throw the water jar while the geyser is going. You want to wait until after the geyser's gone. Uh, so you can do that. Whoa. I like just doing a little spin attack while waiting. Uh, but yes... God, I still love how we hit that keys from a distance. That felt very nice. Thankfully, we will get a chance to heal very soon. And I mean very, very soon. And yes, I know I could just go heal, but... Again, I'm just gonna set my own rules for the LP. That I cannot heal off screen or go out of my way to heal. I'll just heal as we go along when we get a chance. If we're in town to, like, get something or rest, then I'll take advantage of that. Uh, but yeah. I think it'll make the LP a bit more challenging. But yes, we want to head back here that I was totally not here just a second ago. Backtracking. Nope, not at all. And now we can finally get across here. We've been able to do that with the grappling hook. But you can see because of the... We don't have the right key. The only key that'll work on this... And oh yes, this is a fairy. So a fairy, you can bottle it. And if you do bottle it, when you die, it'll revive you for like 8 hearts, I think. Uh, actually, I can just show that right here. Uh, come here. There we go. Sorry, I I didn't want the fairy to get away because it will move, and if you touch it, it'll heal you even if you're at full health. And it looks so sad in the bottle. Like, just look at it. It's like, help me. Like, at least in the other games, the fairies were like, not, were just balls of light. They weren't, they didn't have like super sad faces when you trap them in a bottle. It, it's really depressing. But yes, that, that's fairies in this game. Uh, very useful. It acts as a free revive if you go down. Go ahead and grab these chests, and we get a Knight's Crest. Uh, these will be dropped by an enemy who we'll see later in the game, but we won't, won't have it. So there's, right now, that's pretty much the only Knight's Crest we get. I'm going to ignore this little centipede thing because there's nothing in us for taking it out. I recommend saving before going in. And with that, we have the first boss of the game, Goma! Oh! Uh, I believe... Okay, wow, I messed it up pretty bad. What you want to do is you want to... Oh wait, no, I'm thinking of something else. Okay, wow, that fail, fail, okay. What you want to do is you want to uh, aim up. You see Valu's tail? Use it as a grappling hook. I love the loser reaction, like, oh, what is that? And just swing. Don't land in the lava. If you do, you will take half a heart of damage, or quarter heart, I think, if you're playing in normal mode. And drop a rock on it. You can see that my attacks of trying to hit it with the uh, uh, bar had no effect on it earlier. But dropping a rock is pretty... Did the Brigan hit you? That is the first time that has ever... Happened to me? Okay, then. Yes, you don't need to wait. Uh, okay. Uh, well, then. Yes, in previous Zelda games, when... Okay. A uh, blink. That is not the place to... Okay, thank you. Okay. I will not die to Goma. I refuse to die to Goma. 
That is an insult. I'm not dying to the first boss in the game, especially with an extra heart. Jeez. Then again, you're talking to the same guy who took forever on Gear Him 1. Uh, it seems I have a habit of not doing so well in the first bosses of Zelda game in a Let's Play. Uh, you can see a bit of lag there. Seriously. Okay. Oh, go, go, go. Yeah, you can see it doesn't cut away. I'm just going to keep going. I'm going to wait for it to attack again. And then... Alright, we got that. And yes, you just want to keep doing that. Uh, we don't get the hilarious animation of Valu going, Oh, what's that on my tail? Oh my god, okay. We got this, we got this. I will not die to Goma. Because Goma's not dead. Yeah. But with that, we actually did get rid of its outer shell. Which, guess what? That means it's vulnerable now. Oh wait, it hits through shield. Uh, that's kind of awkward. Uh, but yes, with that, uh, its eye is now vulnerable to sort of pick at. And with a few well-timed hits, you'll take it down. Yeah, as you can tell, phase two is very simple. It is, at least if you know what to do. You might not know what to do if this is your first time playing the game. But yeah. <sighs> I can't believe I almost died to Goma. With that, a new item, sort of. We've gotten piece of hearts before, but now we have a heart container. It automatically fills all our health back and gives us one extra heart. And with that, we have our way out there. And can I just bring up how pretty this looks with like the wind sort of swirling in? I love this like portal look. It's so nice looking. I remember the first time I saw this, I was expecting something like Ocarina of Time where they just sort of had like a ring of light in the ground or like a pillar of light. But this to me is just so pretty and nice and I love it. Let's go. Link. Well, Prince Komali, don't you have something you want to say? Um, I heard everything from Medley. Link, thank you so much. I'm sorry I mistrusted you. I hope I can be like you someday, Link. You will, Komali. I just know it. Right, Link? So, Link, here. I want you to take this, Link. How many times are you going to say his name in a single... Okay, never mind. Giving you the thing I value most will give me the courage I need to stand up to bad things. I don't know if that's how it exactly works, but okay. With this, we get Din's Pearl. This... The great Valu is grateful to you, Link. The, use the wind god's wind. That's what he said, but I don't understand. I wonder what it means. The wind god's wind. I wonder what he's talking about has anything to do with the wind shrine that's through that tunnel. 
Oh, I almost forgot. The Great Baloo also names you Link a true hero. I agree with him. As far as we're concerned, Link, you really are a hero. Well, I'm going to go and visit Baloo. I'll come back and see you sometime with the best pair of wings ever. Hey, Prince Kamali! Thank you so much, Link. See you again someday. And with that, next time on Legend of Zelda Wind Waker, we'll go see what Valu wanted us to see, the Wind God's Shrine. Peace, peace has finally been restored to Dragon Roost Island. Fitting for this place. It's really nice and serene. I'm glad we got rid of the monsters around here. Thank you guys so much for watching, and until next time.